Treating the human body takes more than just science. It takes skill. Choose Pikeville Medical Center. Quality orthopedic care, hometown touch. I want to talk about a project that you all have going here at Belfry right. High School. You know, the past 13 years, the turf has been down here at Cam Stadium, and an opportunity to replace it, and, and a community can get involved. Maybe just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, that's true, and, and we're, we're, we've, we've been very blessed to, to have this turf. It's been good. You know, we've got the one field, and we practice on it and play on it, but we also know that we don't want to wait right up until the last minute <laughs> to start working on fundraising for it. You know, we're, we're, we're not a city. Uh, we're at one school in a county that's got five other high schools, and it's not like they can just say, well, here, we'll help Belfry out and not be able to do the same thing for the other schools because it is an expensive project. So we understand that, and, and we know that we're going to have to do some fundraising for it. The, I guess the good thing, the positive note, you know, we're talking about a pretty good figure, but at the same time, uh, it's only about you know, 65% of what we had to do for the first one because right. we don't have to do the base or anything like that. It's just yeah. turf. So, but it'll take a little bit of time. And uh, we've been very fortunate to have great uh, supporters uh, in Belfry and other parts of the country, actually, to help yeah. us out. And, and, and in the Pikeville area and other places in eastern Kentucky, it said, yeah, yeah, we'll get behind you and help you with this because it's been a good thing for you. It's been a good thing for them the community and the school and just in the area. Community-wise, I mean, folks have an opportunity, they can invest. Tell us about the investment, and actually they, they receive a part of the turf that's down now, is that correct? Yes, yes, uh, we, we, we kind of felt like that we wanted our people to be able to invest in this, and we wanted them to be able to get something for it. And la last time, it was kind of on the almost spur of the moment. Hey, we got to get this done. We had about six months to do it before our school was built, and, and, and we were ready to play on it. So we kind of rushed into it, and we're going to have a plaque again. We're going to have everybody's name, you know, outside the complex. But this time, we want people to have a chance to invest in the turf, and when that turf goes down, there's actually going to be a spot out there yeah. uh, close to where they are, you know, between the 20s or in the goal line in the end zone, yeah. different places you choose and say this is the area and each area is going to have a certain dollar amount attached to it. But uh, what, what you get once the turf is down is each person will get a seven by seven uh, patch of the turf. Mm -hmm. We'll cut it in that area. We'll put it in a nice uh, bag with the pirate logo on it. Yeah. We're going to have a, a certificate that's going to say everything that's been accomplished on this turf over the last 13, 14 years. Coach, if people want to get involved, is there a, a, an address or a phone number? How can they get in contact with you or the uh, Boosters Club well, about well, this there, project? there is. Our CPA, Kevin Varney, uh, his office is always open, and you can contact me at the school. We're getting a little support already, and I think once we can get the word out and start making some contacts, we'll get more and more people starting to contribute.